I've had a bunch of offcuts from my workbench build and my lumber rack for a while, and I finally decided to use them for some shop made long reach clamps that have some features that I've been thinking about for a while. I'm not the first YouTuber to make clamps. Uh, Matthias, John Hyacin, James King, probably a lot of others have done a lot more of this than I have, uh, and I know I've been influenced by all three of their videos, so I'm including links to their videos in the description of this video. But I think what I'm showing has enough unique elements to justify what I'm doing here, which is including SketchUp and PDF plans for this design with the purchase of the cork rubber that I sell. But more on that later, let's get it built first. So here I'm drilling an angled hole in the stationary jaw of the clamp for a piece of all thread that counteracts clamping force that is trying to bend the jaw out of square and also meshes with a smaller piece of threaded rod in the traveling jaw to keep it in place when clamping pressure is applied. And here you can see how tightening this nut is going to make for a clamp less prone to flexing under clamping pressure. Now we'll clean this up a bit and start making the traveling jaw. I lost the footage of how I bent the last piece of all thread that I showed, so this is what that looks like. And that little all thread L is going to fit into this recess that I'm making. Uh, and there's also going to be a magnet behind it just to give it a little bit of extra holding power to stay in place uh, so that the jaw doesn't move when you're shifting the clamp around and getting it into position. Okay, let me try to explain what's happening here because I lost some of the build footage. A lot of nicer clamps that you can buy have a plunger that touches the workpiece but doesn't rotate, so it doesn't move the workpiece out of the way when you're trying to glue it up. And I really wanted that feature for this clamp, and the way I did that was with a clamp or with a cap that stays in place on the threaded rod because it is held on with the magnet so you can pull it off and in between the magnet and the threaded rod is the metal disc that I just cut that uh, keeps the magnet from getting crushed. 
just fits on there and this doesn't rotate and that uh, clamping pressure without rotation is created in a way that's really pretty easy to build. Back to the build. Plans that I mentioned that are included with the purchase of cork rubber do include STL files to print this handle that I'm improving with cork rubber. If you don't have a 3D printer, you're obviously on your own to come up with a different handle that transfers rotation to the 9 16 inch threaded rod. But you know, you're smart. You can do it. I believe in you. This bandsaw sharpening jig that you can see in action if you click the link that's popping up was the first plan I developed to be included with the purchase of cork rubber. SketchUp and PDF plans for this clamp are the second, so if you purchase cork rubber now you'll get access to both the plans right away. And I also plan to do a lot more of these in the future, so if you buy now you'll get access to all those future projects once they come out. One little note about strength. The wedge dowels that I added for reinforcement were adequate except at the top back of the traveling jaw where a lot of force concentrates, so I swapped that for a through rod. I think drilling this out multiple times weakened the clamp a little bit, but I can still pretty easily get to 140 pounds of clamping pressure, which is a pretty good worst case for a clamp with a 9 inch reach. Lastly, something unrelated to any of this that I wanted to mention. If you like this workbench and you are in the Seattle area, your local woodcraft is doing a class from November 5th to 21st on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, and the class includes the cost of the twin turbo vise. It's a really small group initially, so call the phone number in the description of this video if you want to get in on it. Thanks as always for watching. <laughs>